Hey guys, so in a previous episode, I described how you could get the best high res lossless audio quality from your Apple Music through an iPhone via a lightning connector to a USB port to an external DAC and finally with a wired headphone. But of course, that required a cumbersome setup with a lot of wires running all over yourself. Now, if you really want to get the best wireless convenient music to your ears from Apple Music, I'll show you how today. And spoiler alert, it's got nothing to do with any Apple hardware at all. So stay tuned. Hey, did you notice the new intro sequence? Well, um, I hope you guys like it. I kind of like it quite a bit thanks to my designer who helped me with that. Now in the upfront summary, let me show you how this is being done. I actually use an Android phone. This is an LG G5 from four years ago, 2017, paired with a Sony WH-1000XM4. This supports LDAC. Does this phone support LDAC? Well, actually I thought it didn't support LDAC, but there is a way to get around it enable developer option so if you're running an android phone that is on oreo android 8.0 and above which is sometime after 2017 so apparently if the hardware is capable you just have to unlock it i'll show you how you can get about doing it okay so these are the instructions on how to get the phone which is an android phone running oreo and to pair with the sony wh 1000 x mark 4 using ldac which is sony's proprietary Bluetooth protocol, which will support up to 990 kbps bit rate. These are the steps to go about doing it. Go into settings and try to find something that looks like about phone. And when you go to about phone, you have to find build number. So uh, it will differ from phone to phone, but in this particular phone, you will see something like a software information and you will see build number there. So what you're supposed to do here is to tap build number seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you are now a developer. So it opens up developer options. So let's get out of software options. And if you go to settings, you will see developer options come up. Click on developer options. There's a warning here. It might result in irregular behavior, but let's ignore that for now. Bluetooth, Bluetooth, audio codec. Now you click on this. You now see one that is enabled here, the LDAC, LDAC. This is, you click on it and you are actually enabling LDAC on this phone. This phone is a LG G5. If you see something like LDAC codec, what is the quality that you are going for? Right, best effort additive bit rate means it can go uh, 330, 660 or 990 kbps. So I would say I would choose optimize for audio quality 990. It says optimize for audio quality. I'll turn Bluetooth on. It will start searching. I have not turned on this Sony WH-1000XM4 yet. So let me just turn it on now and click on connect. Connected to media audio. Let's see whether the LDAC sign shows up. Yes, connected with LDAC audio. This is the logo that you are looking out for. Now, if you go to your Apple Music, you start playing and you will be able to get the correct LDAC protocol being connected. Now, bear in mind, one thing that you need to note is that if you go to Apple Music, you got to be careful to make sure that your settings are enabled for the highest quality playback. Go to audio quality here. Okay, set lossless to on, cellular streaming, Wi-Fi streaming, and downloads. All of them are set to high resolution lossless. Not that it matters because high resolution lossless requires an external deck. Today, we are going for ease of use and convenience. So right up to today, you might think that the way to best enjoy your Apple Music is actually with the newest iPhone 12. Pro, Max, whatever iPhone that you are trying to use. But realize that iPhone only supports AAC. So for the true purists and all those audiophiles out there who thinks that the best music needs 
more bit rate, a higher bit rate than the AAC, this is good news for you because LDAC supports up to 990 kilobits per second. And if you're not already aware, Apple Music is actually available on the Android platform through Play Store. And it's been updated to allow for high-res lossless music. So the question now, having enabled LDAC is, do I think it's better? I can't really say that it's better for all genres of music. Specifically, the dynamic range is probably a little bit higher. So dynamic range is the difference between the louder sound and the softer sound. So it will work quite well for electronic music, orchestra, instrumentals. And for me, the genre, which I think the most difference can be heard for me is in vocals. So songs where there is a strong emphasis on vocals, I actually find that on LDAC, it opens up quite a bit more. Now, I've done a video sometime last year with the launch of this Sony WH-1000XM4. And I said that LDAC saved the day because for really, really strong bass music, um, and I'm referring to this track from the Lucy soundtrack, which is by Eric Serra called First Cell. And that kind of broke this WH-1000XM4 initially. But that was because I didn't use LDAC. So with LDAC, that kind of electronic music, that kind of strong bass with a huge dynamic range actually sounded more controlled and the bass wasn't breaking up anymore. So LDAC implementation on this Sony highest end headphone actually works very, very well. So I was very, very excited to be able to try Apple Music using LDAC. So this method, I would say that it will be the best audio quality that is going to be made available in a convenient way without wires running all over the place. So I just want you to hear the difference for yourself. So I stuck this binaural mics right into my ear and then I wore this WH-1000XM4 over my ears and it was able to record the sound into the Zoom H1N recorder, which you will hear it in a while with the video coming up. Listen to the two, I have placed the demo using the same headphone on the Apple iPhone 12 Pro Max as well as running it off the LG G5. So enjoy yourself and I'll see you in my next video.